Greetings to all the champions of justice and equality with the Abolish Slavery National Network. I'm Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley, and I applaud each and every one of you for coming together to fight to finish the work that was begun so long ago to abolish slavery in America once and for all. Generations of Americans have been taught to believe that slavery in our nation ended with the 13th Amendment. We all know that, unfortunately, however, that wasn't the case. 14 critical words in that amendment, the slavery loophole, allowed this horrific institution to endure right up to this very day, 156 years later. Those words are neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States. Those 14 words allowed white-led governments in the Southern United States to arrest black Americans for the crime of being black and to rent those black Americans back out as slaves. The slavery clause perpetuated slavery and all the damage that went with it, subjecting those re-enslaved to the most dangerous and deadly working conditions, subjecting them to the master's whip. The clause continued to rob black Americans of their freedom, to tear black parents away from their children, to destroy the finances of black families, to inflict harm in every horrific manner, in a way that has reverberated down through generations. Even today, as I speak, the slavery clause allows prisons to rent out those serving sentences for public and private profit. No clause in our constitution more embodies systemic racism than this one. And it is far past time that we remove it once and for all and end slavery in America. That is the battle that I'm waging at the federal level I'm introducing a constitutional amendment to correct this wrong, but it won't be an easy fight and it will not be quickly over. But we know we have to fight this fight in every place we can, not just the floor of the Senate. Too many state constitutions contain the same language, 21 states in fact, and the people need to know about that. And that's why your efforts to educate people across the country about this ongoing blight is so critical to the efforts I'm leading in Congress. In 2018, you all successfully amended Colorado's constitution to remove their slavery clause. And you helped accomplish the same last year in Nebraska and in Utah. You are on the front lines of this movement, making a difference for Americans everywhere, helping to shine a bright light on this dark side of our constitution. Keep up the great work because together, I know that we will succeed in finishing the work that we began so long ago, abolishing the slavery clause and slavery in America once and for all.